Okay guys, so we're going to do a knee to wall assessment, which is an assessment for the ankle to see the flexibility of the ankle. And so what we're going to do is bring the left foot towards the wall, toes about 10 centimetres from the wall. So you can get a tape measure or a ruler and actually measure out that 10 centimetres. And what the aim is, is to be able to get the knee to touch the wall without lifting the heel. Okay, if you feel that heel lifting off the floor, then what you need to do is slide the foot in closer and do the same thing. If you, if you feel that you can get to the wall without the heel lifting, then you just slide slightly further away. And you keep doing that until you feel, so there, my heel is slightly lifting. Okay, so again, you want to find the point at which your is the limit of range of movement from where your knee can touch the wall without the heel lifting. Again, a couple of points with this one. You need to keep the kneecap in line with your second toe. One thing that the knee will want to do is drop in towards the middle. And what we want to do is not let that happen. So we want to keep that knee in line with the second toe. The other thing is trying to keep this leg out of the equation. So we don't want to bring this leg back to here and actually limit this movement by this stretch in this leg. So you want to make sure that this leg is just I, if you feel the stretch in this leg, bend the knee, uh, bring it forwards, do whatever you want. This is all about assessing the flexibility of the front leg and seeing how far you can get the foot from the wall without lifting the heel. Again, if you can get over 10 centimetres, then that's really good. If you get under 10 centimetres, then it's something you want to work on. Obviously, this is going to be different for different people because different people have different body lengths. Um, in terms of limb length, so taller people, shorter people, it's going to vary the amount of movement you can get. But the other thing you want to look at is, is the left side as good as the right side? Is there a discrepancy there? Often if you've had sprains or strains, anything like that in the ankles, you're going to find that there's limited range of movement on one side of the side that was sprained previously, and that's going to affect all of your functional movements that you do. So again, for this assessment, we do that on one side, and then we swap sides, we do it on the other side, and you mark down how far you can get from the wall on each side.